I just replaced this little retaining wall. This is what it looked like before I started. So I ripped it down and then I put this little one up. I'm going to show you how I did it. Today we're looking at a brick retaining wall. And they built it new school where they put the blocks in and then they bricked around it. When they put the dirt around it, uh, retaining walls in Pennsylvania are not a thing that I like to put in. The rule number one is don't need to put a retaining wall in, don't do it. See the center? They filled it in with old brick actually. Anything that work. Brick walls, Pennsylvania won't hold up anything. If you're ever doing a job for someone, you're building a retaining wall. Look over here. This is where that pipe went. And it wasn't even going up into the rain gutter right there. That's a big reason that this wall fell over. That's one of them anyway. So Part of what I got to do is I got to fix that. I'll go get some uh, PVC and put that pipe back. So that's it. I got it all cleaned out. I got to get some new pipe. I got to patch this all up. Fix that where the rain gutter is. And put some decorative blocks in. That's it. Well, I got this hole in here, which... They should have never put a wall against that because that possibly could leak. So I always make sure I wet it good, which I already did. Then I mix myself up some cement doll and I put it in there. See that? Get the sponge and make it smooth a little bit, and that's it. Now I'm back the next day. That's dried up good. I put this door wall down. You see this door wall? D U R O wall. I just put it down to hold the bottom course, even though I have a foundation. That way, the bottom course don't slip away. Now I put a line up because I got to check all my blocks. Put a little fast drying cement under here. This is what I use to mix for the bottom. Hold that for me, like that. Bring it out a little bit. In fact, I got it upside down, like that. And I'm gonna put my line back. I'll do the same to the other side. And I get my block. You see this this lip on here? I'll explain that. But I don't want it on the bottom course. So I get the hammer and I knock it off. And get a little bit of the cement. Put it down there. Like that. Go right even with that line. See that? I want it back just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Putting this down first. It's a very fast drying cement. And I put my stone right down on top of it. Shake it in place. That's where I want to be. So I made a mark right here. I didn't bring my big saw, I'll explain later. I'll make a mark here. I 
reason I didn't bring my big saw is if I plug it in, sometimes it'll blow the circuit and there's nobody home. So I just made a, there you go. That's how you gotta do. So after I get my first course in, just to tweak it a little bit, sometimes I just put a dab of cement in there to make sure it's going right even with the line. Now I went and got myself some we call a pea gravel. See it? It's very, very small. That's what I want. I want it to choke it up good so the water runs true and then it, it uh, gets behind and holds everything. So I put it in my bucket. And I put it in my behind. Just like that. And then I know that chokes that up good. Now I had to put the drain pipe back in, what they call, I forget what they call it, a fur coat, so the water comes out of there. Okay, that's it, everything's fitting pretty good, perfect. I'm still going with the line, making sure everything's straight, nothing's underneath it, that's it. And I get my Filling as I go. Pretty much finished with the wall. Just doing a little landscaping here. Now usually if I do these walls, I'd have the water come over the top. But this this instant I got the trees, I can't move them. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Now I'm holding the camera straight, but I want you to see I got the wall pitched this way. See that? This way. I don't want it straight and flat. I want it pitched. Just so you know, I'm getting some, some black top. I'm just packing it in there, that's all, like that. I'm going to talk about that retaining wall a little bit. I did a video called Retaining Walls, Yes or No where I told you that there's three types of retaining walls. The retaining walls that fell down, the retaining walls that are falling down, and the retaining walls that are going to fall down. In Pennsylvania, a uh, retaining wall is a hard thing. The, the frost will freeze sometimes six feet deep. Like there, the rain gutter was behind it, the bushes were behind it. There's a lot of forces knocking it around. And a little brick wall like that is not going to hold back dirt. So if it was my house and I didn't have an issue with the rain gutters or it wasn't a state and I didn't know what the neighbors were going to do, I would have ripped everything out and put some big stones in there and been done with it. And I don't consider it a retaining wall, I consider it a garden wall. It's only two feet tall. So these are the kind of stones that went in there and they're man-made stones. And you could actually get a hammer and make them look like the way you want them to look. That's all. All they did is make these in two pieces and snap them in half and you get a rough look. But there's the lip on the bottom. If you see that lip right there, you can also knock that off if you wanted to put it on the bottom. See that, how you can knock that off? But these ain't going to hold back tons and tons and tons of dirt. They're garden walls. That's the way I look at them. I did another wall similar to that where it was only this high. It was only a couple stones high. So I'm going to show you that and then comment a little after that. Now we're putting a wall in. We put some gravel on the bottom and he's tamping it. Now we're just leveling it out with the board. And then we put a little bit of door wall in. That holds the bottom together. Now when I, when I put these little walls in, I always use a little cement under that wire. And because these walls under gravel only they only fall apart and they're easier to, to get under. Okay, and then we're just uh, cementing them, just like block work. You could use glue, but uh, that's just as good. Back and behind the wall of gravel. 
that's another thing that I would consider not a retaining wall but a garden wall. And I always put the wire down, I always put the little cement on town and it holds the bottom in just like on how I build a small stone wall video. But uh, it's man-made materials, it's a quick fix, it's rebuildable, you could use them again. Uh, if I cemented that all in, it'll fall over again. Like I said, a little brick wall this thick is not going to hold back all that, all that uh, tons of material about it. So, hope you get something on these videos. Like I always say, there's no right and wrong way to do it, as long as it works for the purpose you want it to work for. I'm Mike Haddock. Thanks for watching. Until my next video.